Rules of Integration. In this video, we are going to focus on the power rule. You will find this on page 312 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Rules of Integration. When we need to integrate x to the power 4, for example, we write the integration sign, then we say 4x to the power 3 dx, and that will give you x to the power 4 plus c. So, this integration, 4x to the power 3 dx, is called the indefinite integral of x to the power 4 with respect to x. We call it indefinite because it has infinitely many solutions. The indefinite fx dx, we always say, we always make the integration sign and we always say we integrate 2x. Has no, no boundaries. That's meaning there's nothing standing there and nothing standing there. Okay, so <clears throat> no boundaries, upper or lo lower limits. The process of finding the indefinite integral is called integration or integrating fx. Using this notation, we can write the rule for integrating powers as. Say it's x to the power n, there's the integration sign, dx. Then remember, we add 1 and then that result we divide by it plus c. We c is a constant and very important because there's other rule if n is negative 1. So n cannot be, it cannot, at this stage, we cannot integrate this in this chapter. In another chapter, we will go into that rules. So in this example, it's I will just add 1 to the 3 and then I divide by that plus c. Remember the power rule like this. Add 1 to the index and then divide by the new index. Okay, let's look at a few examples. Actually, very easy. dy by dx is equal to x to the power of 5. That is already the uh, derivative function. So, if I want to find y, I'm going to say 5 plus 1, that's 6, and I divide 6 plus c, and that will be y. So, the same here. Okay, now don't forget, just like in differentiation, always bring it up to the numerator. First get it ready. Then still plus 1, there are plus 1, that's negative 2, and then I divide by that negative 2 plus c. And that will be the answer. Don't, don't forget your plus c. Don't forget that. Okay, add the constant c at the end. Always, if it's indefinite, so then you must, because it's open, it there could have been any constant that was becoming zero. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now. And I think I'm going to let you do all three because it's it's very actually very easy. It's actually the basics. So, okay, let's start. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number A, dy by dx is equal to x to the power of 7. Okay, now don't forget that we just make it y, okay, because originally it was y, then it's 7 plus 1, which is 8, so it's x to the power of 8, divide by 8, plus c. Please don't forget that plus c. Number B, dy by dx is 1 over x to the power of 6. Now, first get it ready. First take it up, just like in differentiation. And now I'm going to say y is equal to, now negative 6 plus 1, it's negative 5. So it's x negative 5 divided by negative 5 plus c. If you want, you can write it, put the negative in front, and you can even say over 5. And then, what you can do, you can bring it back to the power of 5. Okay, let me just do that. That's right. So, it will be 1 over 5x to the power of 5 
plus C. And then the final one, number C. dy by dx is x to the power negative 8. Okay, so y is equal to x. Now, this is negative 8 plus 1, so it will be negative 7 divide negative 7. So always first add 1, and then don't forget to see. And you can simplify this again to negative 1 over uh, negative 7 x to the power also of 7. It's a coincidence. Okay, yes, now it's actually because we were dividing there plus c. It's the same as it happened there. Don't forget, it's a c. Okay, and that, that's how you do the very, very basic ones.